It was chills, uh, fever, a horrible cough, and the same tightness in the chest, difficulty breathing. New Mexican. The cough was so deep, I wasn't able to actually speak anymore. After New Mexican. It was the worst I've ever had in my life. Um, and it lasted for over a month. After New Mexican. Had the flu a number of times. This did not feel like any flu I'd had before. Have been reporting the most extreme of illnesses this past winter, myself included. And what New Mexican after New Mexican after New Mexican keeps asking is, was that flu actually COVID-19? That, I think, is one of the main reasons that people are coming to get the antibody test. It's widely believed that the virus began sometime in November of 2019 in China. But as what we know of the virus continues to evolve, people are asking if it could have developed earlier and been in the United States sooner. The New York Times reported in late April that researchers believe, quote, hidden outbreaks were creeping through cities like Chicago, New York, Seattle, and Boston earlier than previously known. Knowing whether or not you have had and recovered from COVID-19 can only be done through antibody testing. Tricor Reference Labs and Quest Diagnostics here in New Mexico are now testing but you need a doctor's referral. That's not the case at Southwest Labs. For a cost of $99 and a vial of blood, folks can now be tested without that doctor's referral. The, the development of those tests was with our uh, laboratory partner. We use Mayo Clinic Laboratories. Uh, they're one of the largest and most respected in the entire country. Wanting to know if my nasty flu in late December was in fact COVID-19, I decided to take the test myself. Yeah, I'm here for the uh, COVID-19 antibody testing. How you're going to get your results. What, in your opinion, is the most important part in, in the puzzle of kind of getting us back to whatever, quote unquote, back to normal looks like post COVID-19? Certainly, I have a bend towards laboratory testing and, big, and uh, growing our data set. Um, I think that that is, is paramount. And that data will be given to the CDC and state health offices helping to develop a clearer picture as to who has had the virus. We've got to develop some kind of uh, measurement tool um, so that practitioners, um, health policymakers, politicians, folks can make informed decisions about how to respond to the pandemic. But Dr. Baldwin is quick to point out that carrying antibodies doesn't necessarily mean an all clear for the patient. Um, there is not sufficient data at this time with regard to the antibody test that if your results come back positive, no one can say for certain what level of immunity that may or may not grant you. After 72 hours, my results are in. Your latest test results are now available. Please visit your Spruce app to access. So I click on the link, moment of truth, negative. While no test on earth can be 100% accurate, proponents say procedures like these are vital in the process of returning people to work, to school, and to some semblance of life as we once knew it.